Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. So yeah, I actually have to get ready because um, I have to get going because I have class soon and I was supposed to leave a half hour ago to get a book to do an assignment, but I guess I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. Let's get started with the tutorial and um, I'll see you guys right now. Let's get ready. I just got out of the shower, as you guys can probably tell from my wet hair. My hair is like kind of gummy right now because I like, bleached it yesterday I got more highlights so it needs a break from bleach that's for sure it needs a few oloplexes in it but after a few oloplexes I'll be back in biz let's get started I'm also going to talk about my new year's resolutions in this video um, I'm first going to start off by moisturizing this is the glam glow glow starter the smell takes me back to Jamaica and like the summertime because I really wore this like all the time in Jamaica to me it smells like pina coladas which is also what I was drinking like every day in Jamaica. The foundation today that I'm gonna to use is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. So let's start with my New Year's resolutions. I think my very first one is to have it be my year. And I know everyone always says that, but I mean it like, this is gonna be my year for YouTube. This is gonna be my year for Instagram. Like everyone has a time when things are supposed to happen for them. and. I'm thinking in terms of YouTube. Like everyone finds their YouTube success at different times and it's when they are ready for it. And I truly think that that is this year. I'm ready for it, I'm dedicated, I'm determined and I think it's gonna be a really good year. Um, I'm gonna be posting content as much as I can. My passion is back um, and just everything that I have wanted in my YouTube that has been lacking for the past like nine months, my YouTube pregnancy. <laughs> um, it's kind of taken its course and I'm ready for the next step. And I think that is what I'll be doing. You know, everyone finds their success at different times. Like Roman took him what, like seven years to find success and now he's at 11 million. And Casey, it took him like 10 years or something. I mean, people blow up for whatever reason. So, I mean, I've never lost hope. I know it's not about the numbers, but it's a goal of mine and I've always wanted to hit it. And I'm not gonna give up on that. So I'm kind of traumatized when it comes to going blonde because I have had, well, I've gone blonde. I was blonde one other time. And I did it a very bad way for my hair. I literally like bleached my hair, I think it was three times in one day and I was like, just get me blonde. And then I highlighted it that day. So I bleached it four times. I bleached my whole head three times, highlighted it once. And then I went back and I highlighted it two times after that, like within like five days of each other. So I bleached my hair like how, six times in like a span of like 10 days. So it really wasn't good for my hair, but I got really blonde, but it was like, as you can imagine, it was pretty damaged. This is Tarte Shape Tip, by the way. I finally got my hands on it. So my hair was damaged, but it really wasn't dead. Like it, it had life in it. It was fine. Um, it could have been better. I definitely could have done it a better way for my hair, but by any means it wasn't like destroyed. Do you know what I mean? I dyed my hair back to brown. I was like done with the blonde and I missed the brown. So I dyed it back to brunette. And then like a few months later, I was like, I miss the blonde, I'm gonna go back to blonde. Cause I always change up my hair color. It's like the thing that I do. I don't know why I'm just obsessed with changing my hair color. So I changed it back and I was like, I wanna be blonde again. So I went to my girl and I was like, balayage me, I'm gonna do this the healthy way. So she balayaged me and it was not at all like what I wanted. It like wasn't the color, it just looked streaky. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna try someone else um, just to, see what else is out there. So I went to my friend's mom who did her hair and like she had her own hair salon like in her basement and stuff, which now that I say it, like it seems sketchy, but like she isn't like a sketchy human. Like it wasn't a sketchy situation or anything. Like it was like legit, you know what I mean? She just worked out of her basement instead of in a salon and she had like clients all the time. Like she was like legit. So I went to her and I was like, I want it lighter than this, but I'm still gonna do it healthy. I want it balayage. So I showed her a picture that I thought was like totally doable. And she was like, oh my God, yeah, that's perfect. Like, that's great. So I'm gonna give it to you. And I was like, okay. So she does it 
whatever the foils were on there for a long time and I was like wow this is so great like I'm gonna be really light like I'm gonna be the color that I want you know whatever she takes the foils out and she's washing my hair and she's like hey like you're losing like a lot of hair like is that normal and I'm like well I thought that she just meant like I was shedding because you know I had a lot of hair so I would like shed hair all the time so I was like yeah like totally normal like I have a lot of hair so I shed she was like okay good because you're just losing a lot so like I just wanted to make sure it's good I'm like yeah don't worry you're good or so I thought so then she's like all right I'm gonna put some Olaplex on you you're just gonna sit over there like let it sit and I was like okay so she gives me the Olaplex I'm sitting on the couch I will put the picture in of what my hair looks like because it was terrifying that is what my hair looked like it was nappy I literally I would go like this you guys and I had like clumps of like obviously not now none came out but like I would have I would just go like this and like I would lose like all this hair would just fall off my like I oh my god it was just so bad and I started to freak out obviously I didn't say anything because that's just not who I am like I'm so not one to say anything so I just kind of like pretended like I didn't notice and she didn't like it was my first time with her so she didn't really know my hair very well so she didn't say anything about it but I'm not kidding like I had virtually no hair I went home and I like bawled my eyes out I was crying I was like my hair's all gone like it's so bad so then after that whole incident happened I dyed my hair dark again and then I was like you know what like I know it needs a cut you can cut it just don't cut a lot off because I still want long hair so my hair was finally growing and like I really liked the length and I was like length and I was just like just don't cut a lot so she cut as least as she could but like it wasn't her fault but it was a sh it was a horrible haircut it wasn't her fault because my hair was so damaged that like she literally like you would hold a piece up like this and like you know how when your hair is really damaged on the ends it like I mean you might not know this but like if you bleach your hair and it's really really damaged you know you'll hold up a thing of hair and it like it waves on the end and it's just like a noodle because it's just dead hair it's just completely damaged that was my entire head like it was so bad from the hair that I had left it was just so bad and the ends were just completely fried and just so nappy and it was horrible like it was so bad so she ended up having to cut my hair into this haircut which um, I absolutely hated I did not want short hair um, and you know that wasn't the girl who cut my hair's fault that was not her fault it was my fault for having a horrible bleaching experience but yeah, it wasn't what I wanted. So my shortest layers were like this short. Like they were like above my ear. Like they were really, really, really short. And it was just such not a cute thing. So I was like, okay, this needs to be fixed. So I got my keratin hair extensions in and thank God for them because they helped my hair grow a ton without me realizing that my hair was growing. Because I had long hair in the process. They didn't damage my hair whatsoever. My hair was perfectly fine. Um, it just really helped my hair. Whatever. Moral of that story was I'm traumatized from bleaching my hair. Um, so every time I go in for highlights or whatever, I'm always like to my hairdresser, I'm like, how's my hair? Like, is it okay? Is it okay? She's always like, it's fine. Like, it's perfectly fine. So like, I know my hair right now, like, I know what it normally feels like and I know that since I've been bleaching it, yeah, it's a little tired and it needs some treatments and it needs some Olaplex and it needs a break to kind of calm itself down. <clears throat> and I'm saying like, oh my god, it feels so damaged, but like, it really is not. Like, yeah, I could use a little trim up. That's not really bad, that's just my hair drying and it gets frizzy when it air dries. Yeah, I'm traumatized. But I do want to say Olaplex like literally does change your hair. So if you do have damaged hair, um, Olaplex once a week. Not any more than that because then your hair becomes immune to it and it stops really working as well. But definitely once a week Olaplex your hair. Um, what I do is I like get my hair wet and I put it in at night and then I sleep with it in and then in the morning I wash it out. Um, I always do the overnight treatment. I think it works best and it's just a ton of like repair for your hair um, other hair masks I do like them but they don't work like Olaplex the thing about Olaplex is that it like literally repairs your hair from the inside out while hair masks normally just have like a silicone covering 
and kind of seal your hair down and make it seem like it's really healthy and you know good again but in reality it's like not what it was but Olaplex literally goes like inside the hair and repairs it and it's really really amazing so I recommend Olaplex like no matter what state my hair is in I'm always like okay Olaplex and I'll be fine another New Year's resolution of mine is I want to teach spin class and I'm actually getting a start on this right now. I am currently teaching, I mean, I'm currently training to teach spin. Um, so what that entails is pretty much me just riding up on stage with the instructors and kind of just like riding next to them. I'm not saying anything to anyone in the class or anything. I'm just, you know, up on stage seeing what it's like to ride in front of other people and get used to, you know, being on stage. And I'm really proud of myself for doing that, honestly, because I remember when I first started to go to my spin studio and I would see people training to teach and they would go up on stage. I literally was like, I knew that I've always wanted to teach spin. I've always been someone that likes teaching to begin with. So I know that when I find something that I like, I definitely want to teach it myself. Um, so I knew I've always wanted to teach spin since I started going there. And since I've been like serious about it, I've known that I've wanted to teach. But I always said to myself, like, the one thing that's going to be the absolute hardest for me is riding up on stage with them to train. And I'm just, I've done it three times now and I'm proud of myself for doing it. Um, it's really nerve wracking and it's tricky being up there, especially when you're, you know, still training and you're not completely up to par and you're not, you know, as amazing as, you know, even some of the other riders in class, like some of them are just so good and you're, up on stage and you're just like, oh my god, like they should be up here, like not me, whatever. But I'm really proud of myself because it's something that I've always wanted to do. And you know, there was an obstacle, a huge obstacle thrown at me that could have made me, you know, been like this, like I'm not doing this, it's not worth it, but I chose to stick with it and um, I'm really proud of myself. Oh my god, look how like light that is under there. That one right there. I've talked about my spin studio in my vlogs. If you guys are like near the Philly area, it's near King of Prussia. It's called Solby. If you guys ever want to go, um, I really, really recommend it. And eventually I'll be teaching so you guys can take my classes. I think that'd be really fun. I mean, I hope I'll be teaching. The goal is to be teaching. We're going to see where this takes me. You know, I'm not expecting anything out of this. Even though I'm training, I'm not expecting to be teaching anytime soon. I'm really in no rush. I really want to learn and make sure that I'm doing it right before I get up on the bike and, you know, teach you guys because spin completely changed my life. And I know how powerful a spin instructor can be to someone's life. So I definitely want to be as good as I can before I begin. I know I'm not going to be the best right when I start and I'm not expecting to, but I definitely want to be as good as I can be right when I start. Another thing that I want to do this year is I want to, um, I don't really know how to word this. I want to take time for myself. Like I feel like I normally always do take time for myself and you know have some me time and you know I really do like to pamper myself but this year I want to unapologetically pamper myself. You know when I'm with friends and they say you know we're gonna go to breakfast in like five minutes you know, I won't feel bad if I want to go put on some makeup and fake eyelashes and do my hair before going out to breakfast, you know? Even though it's just going out to breakfast, it's just, it makes me feel better about myself and I want to be unapologetic for that, you know? Everyone has their way of doing things and if I want to feel my best at all times, then I'm going to do that and not feel the need to apologize for it. Another thing I want to do this year is I want to drink more water. I'm so bad at drinking water. I really am. Like I used to be pretty good at it. Like before I went to college, I was like, okay. Like I was bad at drinking water, but I got much, much better at it. And then I went to college and it just kind of all went to shit because it was kind of hard to have water at your disposal, kind of at like whatever time you need. So this is like an eye look that I did last week and I really like how it looked. So I'm just gonna do it again. Thought it brought a good amount of life to my face. So I'm just gonna quickly do it. I should actually be leaving for class soon because I wanted to get to campus early today because I have to get a book for our homework. I'm taking two classes that I should not be taking as a freshman. 
I'm taking like two electives for my major, which normally you're supposed to do like your gen eds first, but like they kind of just didn't like, I don't know, like they were waiting on credits from Alabama to transfer. So they were kind of just like, do these electives like now and then, you know, you can do your gen eds like next semester. And I was like, okay. But I mean, it's kind of weird because like everyone in my classes are like so much older than me. And I definitely look like the baby. But the one thing that I've learned from training for spin is that I just have to own it. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I'm only 18 and yeah, I could be teaching like you know, someone that's in their 40s and in their 50s and then they could look at me and be like, well, what do you know? Like, you're so much younger than me. And like, yeah, they could do that. But like, I just have to really own it. You know what I mean? And that's what I really learned the most from teaching spin. Also, I've learned to surround yourself with people that believe in you. It's nice to have people that believe in you. So surround yourself with people that want to see you do good in your life. And not people that pretend like they want to but they secretly want you to fail. I just wanna like give a moment of appreciation to just all the nice people in the world. I was in like that class I was telling you about where it's like all juniors and then like me. So I definitely look out of place and everyone knows everyone. I go to like a smaller branch school of Penn State so everyone knows everyone. I'm obviously new so I don't know anyone. The professors don't know me, the students don't know me, whatever. So I'm in this class and I'm obviously the new girl and you know, professors are calling my name and they say my last name and then this one girl turns to me and says, your name's Simone? And I was like, oh no, my last name is D. Simone. And she goes, oh, my name's Simone. And I was like, oh, funny, you know, whatever. And then like she knew that I was out of place and that I was kind of like uncomfortable because it was clearly like not my age group of people. Like she knew that I was younger. Like it was, it's obvious that I'm younger. So she knew and she just like kept putting in the effort to just make me feel like welcomed in that class. And it's just like, you're just such a, like, you're just doing it right. Like, just, you're such a nice girl. And it's so hard to come across girls that are just nice. And she was just a nice girl. And it really just made me happy for the rest of the day. And obviously, two days later, I'm still happy about it. So, okay, I'm going to go put on my lashes. I'm going to do my hair. And then I will be right back. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Um, I didn't like change because I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a t-shirt as long as I can. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to, you guys know what to do. Just like like it if you if you liked it. Also, like I need to figure out how to style my short hair because my go-to is always straight. But I feel like when my hair is short, straight just kind of is eh, with it, you know? I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.